after watching the the guys try to do the best they could to dig our um, foundation trenches, um, and even before that, having the backhoe operator come to the side and tell us, no, I can't do this work. I knew um, when the time came that it would be a hustle trying to dig a septic tank. This is Eric, and welcome to Ganabakweku YouTube channel, where we document the building process um, for our dream home in Ghana, West Africa. We hope that you find the content we share um, helpful, encouraging, um, and hopefully um, educating as well. Because of encroachment that happened, you know, um, to the right of our property, we lost land anyway. So anything that we wanted to do for an outdoor space, would have to compete with a huge septic tank. And I will, that was not even an option for us. Um, so we started looking and eventually um, we saw enough information on biodigesters. I've been you know, scouting the internet for videos of biodigesters for the last two years. Um, you know, doing the pros and cons analysis on, you know, using those whether they were worth um, using, um, even if it meant doing the painful work of um, digging the um, septic tank ahead of time. And no matter what I did, it made no sense um, to lose this little space that we have left, you know, thanks to the neighbor who encroached. Um, so we decided to go with the biodigester approach. This side you can see they had to cut the rock by that place. Yeah, that's a rock. Then, after the digester, we've gotten them right. We've gotten the digester right. We've gotten the three, three feet for the digester. We've gotten this one. The problem is always that the soak away has to go. You see below that hole. The second way has to go some two, three feet again under it, making it five feet to the top. That's why. That's why we're scraping the surface of the rock. This is the one by the the main house. Three by seven. I'm sure we we'll still have to bring the block courses one more upward because of the feeling. But look at the situation of the thing. The second way we're trying to dig. Look at the situation. As it is now, it's more than it's bigger than what the second way should be. But a whole large portion is on is on rocks. They've tried to crack this side and crack this side as well. I want to see if we can dig a fresh second way here. Here. No, 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 no points, no points, no points. We can't go there. Let's look at that place now. Oh my god, I'm trying to look for a solution for this guy. We're looking for another point. No, but this rock is easy. This one we can break. Okay, it's the same type there. If if not be the rain, we, we 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 would have been able to know how it will behave because the water we put there is soaked. Yes. So, but now rain water has come. We don't know which one is which. The the the, the problem is you see the rain gutter. Uh, this one and this one they are all okay. They're all inside so that, that space. That's the okay, rain, so that's it's the concentrated. Rain, yes. That means the soak away can stay it there. Can stay there. So, but unless uh, they will have to change the rain gutter. Yes. The, the, the position yes. it is. These two are all good there, and then there is a lot of water. This uh, corner, yeah. so this this one, this one, all of them are. They will, they will come here. Yes. People are saying that this place can soak the water, but the problem is that the rain gutters from the, from the roof are concentrated here. That's why we are unable to we are unable to determine because this is rainwater. It's not the 50 liters that we poured inside. That one was that one had. Speculated into the ground, it was able to soak it. 
but the rain water is certainly more but uh, when the when the flooring or when the filling is finished then it will take care of that possibly we can also redirect the rain gutters away because this is where they soak away for the house to be concentrated well there are only about three toilets coming down here and then this area proves to be the best for the kitchen soak away we were able to get the whole four feet inside this for the kitchen soak away and coir. like we stuck to the old plan of making the digester there and soak away here we won't have any problem but we've already changed the arrangement this one we did not have any problem it's left with the slabs and then plaster for this one then i think i can I can connect it manager i believe we'll finish today but the buy enzymes i will not put them inside i don't know i should give them to you where do i keep it for you the land is extremely rocky. You can see some of the rocks that were removed from the ground whilst we were excavating. That's, that's how the entire place is. But with the help of a biodigester, this is a biofuel digester. We are able to allocate waste coming from this. This appears to be the washroom upstairs and uh, the security room into this biodigester unit. The system is such as the system is such as it will separate the solid and the liquid matter. Whilst the liquid is going to undergo further filtration and then goes back into the ground, the solid remains in the system and is broken down by, of course, natural uh, bacteria action as well as extra bacteria that we have to add to the system from time to time. I mean, that, but that's, that's only after some years. Uh, that's the that's essentially the principle of the biodigester system i'm not here to do uh, a pros and cons analysis on a biodigester or um, a septic tank to each their own there's information on the internet for everyone um, who wants to look into it but one thing for me is in addition to the space constraint you know, can you imagine building a beautiful house and then, you know, having one of these trucks come into sludge every so often, right? Um, it, 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 to me, it's, you know, it's kind of an eyesore. Um, and, you know, the fact that our place isn't drained well enough so you couldn't really, um, you know, clean the gray water um, out into a, a drainage, an existing drainage, you know, after it had been, you know, filtered down. So we decided to go the biodigester route and I'm happy with that.